Hello there. Sorry from 17 once again. This is my Batman Arkham Origins a New Game Plus video walkthrough. This is the Bane boss fight, our first encounter with him. Uh, what you want to do, guys, is you want to walk up to him, you want to bait his attack, you want to counter it, and then you want to lead into a combo of your own. You do not want to get too greedy, though. If you get too greedy with your combos, he will either counter you or do an unblockable move. So if you try and counter it, you'll take maximum damage. Uh, the second phase here is in Venom, which means you have to stun him with the Ultra Stun from your cape. Uh, I think it's the Ultra Stun you need to do. You, Unless you're using the Electric Shock Gauntlets, which you can stun him anyway. And then once you've done that, you want to follow it up with a beatdown. And it's going to lead to, to this. And I believe this is going to lead to him throwing us out a window once we do it again. So this is back to normal. There's a counter. There's me taking a big punch in the face. There's me jumping over, I do the stun, do the combo, and then from the combo I move into my execution move, my takedown, just to do some extra damage. Mess around there trying to grab him with the with the claw, doesn't work because he moves, and then he does this, which is, this is t meaning he's going to turn into Venom mode. Whenever you see him do that move where Batman counters it automatically and then does that really rubbery kick to the face, that means he's turning into this which he proceeds to do this running attack and you'll notice I'm walking almost diagonally towards the corner towards him that is an example of how to do it and how not to do it the timing is trickier than it looks it should not be as difficult as it is but unfortunately the tracking and just the way that the detection on that charge works it means you can get hit really easily and you need to be careful because it soon adds up the damage But Stun him again, get him out of the, the crazy Venom mode, and then you can continue to beat him up as we did in the room. Do your combos, do your takedowns when you've got the, the combo meter up. Never get greedy because he counters, and sometimes his counter is unblockable. And I, I personally say completely ignore these idiots. And I get grabbed, which is kind of weird. I have no idea what, what that one was about, but there it is. So he grabs me again. It's because I'm not jumping over him. The best thing to do when Bane comes near you at this point is to jump over him. I don't know why I'm fighting those those little dudes. Oh, that one was painful. Yeah, no idea why I'm doing this, but I've just got my stun gauntlets, so I should turn them on. But I'm probably going to save them until this moment now where he turns into Venom. Because the cool thing about the gauntlets is you don't have to waste the time it takes to do the Ultra Stun. And I've already mentioned in the previous videos that the Ultra Stun can miss. But you see the tracking on that bullshit? Oh, just wonderful. But after he does the runs, he does that jump attack with the shockwave. There is a definite timing to evading it. You want to wait until he lands and then roll. Uh, usually you're going to be rolling away from it, so you'll need to roll back towards him. But it generally gives you enough time to do the ultra stun and then beat him up a little bit. Uh, if the second hit of the ultra stun is a kick instead of a cape hit, it means the ultra stun has failed and you need to get the hell out of dodge or you're about to take a massive counter attack. A little bit like that. <laughs> Taking some big hits. There's the grab attempt. A couple of dudes trying to punch me. Jumping over Bane because Bane's out of Venom mode. His life's getting a little bit low. Uh, we're doing an execution move on him. A takedown just to get that extra bit of damage up. He's going into Venom mode here. There's the ridiculous rubber kick. And here he comes. Stamps the ground. Does the charge. If you're close to him, it can be really tricky to evade that first charge. Uh, one good way of evading this is waiting till the last possible instant and then jumping over an enemy. Because you seem to get iframes from hopping over enemies, but you don't get a lot of them, so it can be easy to, to fuck it up. But Bane's still in crazy mode until you use the takedown on him, which you know drains him of his fun juice. Well, temporarily, anyhow. So, you can either beat him up until Batman does it automatically, which I think this is. Because you'll notice my colour didn't go down, which means I didn't use a takedown. And then immediately afterwards, <laughs> I use the takedown. <laughs> Just to see if it does any more damage. But if I had any criticism of this boss fight, except for the ones I've already thrown at it before we got here, it would be, there doesn't seem to be, you know, a good way of doing massive damage to bosses. It all seems to be wars of attrition where you do minuscule damage until you win. And I'm not a big fan of that ever. I like bosses where knowledge and skill and techniques 
can make you be embarrass the boss, you know. Just look at Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. On the hardest difficulty on that game, you land a parry, you do massive damage. It rewards your player skill rather than rewarding bullshit. And I, I just love that, that kind of mechanic. But that is the end of the fight, guys. As I mentioned, it was quite a close call. And if you're having trouble with him, don't worry. That boss is easily one of the toughest in the game. And spoiler alert, one, two, three... You're going to fight him again, he's the exact same as he was just then, and he's effectively the last boss, which is completely bullshitty and cheap and stupid, and I don't understand it. But the game is still great, and I hope you're enjoying the guide. You take care now.